That is not bright enough. Much better. I don't know if you can tell, but it's literally double the brightness in here. Mad. Hello, welcome back to another video where I am slowly restoring my 2005 Evo 9 back to its former glory. If it ever had any. So today, we were supposed to be fixing the check engine light by replacing idle air control valve. However, the courier decided to not drop off our parts anywhere close to home. They took them an hour away. Thanks Aramex, you pricks. So, instead, we're gonna do something else. I can't drive the car because it's still in pieces, kind of. And it's also raining outside. So we're gonna do something inside the garage. We have to get a new light, because the other light was too dim. This one's twice as bright. That's sick. Today, I'll show you. Got ourselves a little summon summon. We got ourselves a little package, or two packages. Italian packages. So we picked up a boss kit for the Evo 9. We also picked up a new wheel. This one, I think it's gonna look really good. We also have a clock spring because the clock spring we have in the car currently is apparently throwing the SRS light. Given that we're putting a wheel in without an airbag, I don't think that's gonna fix that, but I could be wrong. So that's what we're doing, clock spring, new steering wheel. What we picked up was the Momo Gotham. It's pretty nice, it's got these like cool little metal looking bits with leather and there's a little horn button. And we got Gotham stitched in there. That looks pretty cool. I'm keen to see this on the car. There's a matching shift knob to go with this, um, but since we're running the rally out one, I think we're not gonna bother with that. We'll just run this wheel for a little bit. We'll see how it looks. I'm pretty excited. I think it's gonna look really good. This is the wheel we have on the car. It is the OEM 9 wheel. It's destroyed. This happens to all of them. Most people retrim these, which is fair because these ones are really nice. They look sick. Um, everyone does that, so I'm doing something a little different by putting the Momo wheel on. I'll probably keep this. Maybe I'll get this retrimmed one day, put it back on since it's got the airbag and mad Mitsubishi stuff. But for now, let's um, get it out of there, work out how to change the clock spring, and bang the new wheel on. Hopefully it'll look good. That is disconnect the battery so the airbag doesn't explode in our faces. Alright, mine has this weird cruise control module which is like wired into something. So I'm gonna have to work that out, but we've got to unplug the airbag, this little yellow plug, and disconnect the horn things. Alright, we've got the airbag disconnected. Um, there's some crazy earth stuff happening for the power for this little module thing. So I'm just gonna take the steering wheel off and then work that out then. So there's two holes over here in this side of the steering wheel, the bottom hole we bang an 8mm Allen key thing in there and I already loosened it because it was tight as hell using a little extension on this thing we loosen him up pull him off we've got to be careful though because our horn is still attached the wire for that kind of just trying to work it out not enough whoa Okay, the wheel is off. Very cool. All right, that's the airbag. So that's the horn wire, which looks like it's got the earth wired in for the cruise control thing. So probably need to do a bit of modifying there, but I know we got some new wires with our steering wheel, so we can work that out. Here we go. OEM wheel is off. I don't know whether to get this retrimmed or not, like I said, but I mean, it's a nice steering wheel. These wheels are mad. I, like, I understand why most people keep these in their cars because they are very nice. So we're definitely going to keep this around. Maybe we'll get it retrimmed one day. Maybe we won't. All right, so now we have our clock spring, which is apparently the cause of our SRS light. Apparently, that's what I was told. But along with a lot of the other things I was told about this car, it's not going so great. So, 
I'm going to change it anyway since we're here. I don't know how to get it off or what to do with it. I'm going to look that up, work that out, change that. Alright, so we've got a new clock spring. It comes with this little pull tab thing. So it has the ribbon in here which is centered apparently. I don't know how it works or what it does, but that's what, that's what the internet says. So we're not meant to pull this white tab off. That white tab. Until it's on the car. Because then it will be centered and it will be mad. So we've got the old one unscrewed. We have to pop these plastics out a bit. Alright, we've got our clock spring off. We've got our airbag plug out and we got the horn plug out. So the two clock springs are pretty much identical. Well, they are identical. The one we just pulled off the car has the yellow tape pulled off. This one does not, so that's kind of weird. But the one we pulled off has the modified plug for the horn and uh, cruise control. So let's bang this one on, and then we can get a boss kit and put that on. So we have two developments. One, first development is that you don't run a clock spring when you run an aftermarket wheel. I kind of thought I just bolted on top of it, but it doesn't. So. We're planning on removing that, however, it turns out that the boss kit that Momo provides for an Evo 8-9 doesn't fit. Does not fit. Doesn't fit on the spline, on the steering column. So that's fucked. I looked up online and apparently other people have had this issue, so it's surprising that Momo hasn't fixed that by now. Apparently this would fit in Evo 10s. So, we're not putting the steering wheel on because she don't work. But what I'm thinking now is that we were obviously replacing the clock spring to try and fix our SRS light, but then we weren't going to use that, but now we are. So we're going to put the OEM wheel back on with the new clock spring and see if I still have an SRS light. So that went to shit, but we'll work it out. I emailed the bloke I got this from, see what they come back with. It's a bit disappointing because it's literally listed to fit this car, and it doesn't fit this car, so I'm a little bit disappointed, Momo. I thought you guys were good, good Italian goodness, but your shit don't work. So let's put this thing back on. Maybe we'll just get this retrimmed and run this. I don't know. I don't have the answers anymore. I kind of want to get rid of this cruise control unit, but... At the same time, I kind of can't be bothered. It's like screwed all on, on, up in there. I don't know how to get, get it off. Get off! Yeah, maybe we'll just leave it. It's not really annoying, so. Oh, psych, the wire just broke. Alright, now we're definitely getting rid of it. This is under the little cover for the steering wheel module. There's two screws in that for this board, so I'm going to try and pull them out. I imagine there's just two screws going into the plastic, so I'm going to have two holes in that, which sucks. But, then we can get rid of all this stuff and go back to OEM. Our shitty OEM wheel. That shit. Damn. Got the cruise control thing out. There's actually a lot to this cruise control. That's a pretty big job installing for this shit. Anyway, whatever. Now we can plug our horn back in, plug our airbag back in, put our little cover back on, and then see if we have an SRS light. We can't start the car because, well, that's why. But, um, we can maybe put it on accessories and see what happens. Let's do it. Freaking sick. I'm upset we didn't get that on. I'm excited. So we're about to put the steering wheel back on. Of course the new clock spring has a different plug for the horn because the other one was messed around with for the cruise control. So that plug is not going to fit our little bullet plug connector thing. I do have some bullet connectors here so I'm probably just going to chop that and hopefully see if my bullet connector will fit that. Bang that on, plug it in. You're good as gold. That's annoying. This whole day has been annoying. This whole week has been annoying. No damn idle air control allowed to fix our car. The boss kit doesn't work, even though Momo says it does. 
And now we gotta join Wise. Ah, I don't wanna do it. I'll sell this damn car. Alright, thankfully our bullet connector fits onto what's on the steering wheel. So now all we have to do is just chop this one off, expose the wire, crimp this thing on, and plug it in. Not a big deal, it's gonna take like three seconds, but still annoying. plugged in, our airbags plugged in. I do not want to be anywhere in this general vicinity when we plug the battery back, we hook the battery back up because explosions. Put that little, put that little panel thing back on, wherever that thing goes. Now theoretically, if that clock spring wasn't rooted, that should, uh, that should fix our SRS light. Safety restraint system, I think. It might, it might not, I don't know. Everything in this car sucks, so it's probably not even that, but annoying the Momo wheel doesn't just hook up on you, considering this is a Momo wheel. Anyway, I'm gonna go plug the battery back in. I'm gonna leave you there in case this thing explodes. Because that would be kind of funny. Funny, but not funny. Alrighty. It's not exploding. Okay, well it's still showing warning lights, like the battery and the oil and the SRS light is still on. So I guess we gotta start the car, which we can't do. And our horn doesn't work. <sighs> Why? So as you saw, nothing went to plan today. No steering wheel, clock spring, don't know because we can't start the car because of this issue. The horn doesn't work now. If you know why the horn doesn't work, let me know. Honestly, it's probably something really dumb, but honestly, I'm just not in the mood. I'm kind of sick of it. So I'm going to call the video here. I will come back out later in the week and mess around with it and get it working. We'll work it out. We always do. Yeah. It sucks about the boss kit. I'm going to look into that. We could reach the SRS light with this little thing that they give you for your steering wheel. Focus that. Apparently this will get rid of the SRS light. But we're not putting the wheel on anyway. We've got to, got to find out whether we're going to get a new hub or where the go is. I'll let you know when I know, when whoever knows if we know. That sucked. Whatever. Goodbye. I'm out.